We're catching up with Jason Aldean this week on Today's Country, talking brand new single, badass duet partners, and the littlest music fan in the Aldean family. You've got a ton to celebrate. Um, I want let's start with celebrating this um, 25th number one with "Blame It on You." Yeah, I just got the uh, I just got the memo on that yesterday morning, and you know it's really cool. What what to me is really cool about that song is a couple of the guys that are in my band who have been with me for over 20 years were co-writers on that song, and and so they had written some things that we had recorded before. You know, and we had had singles and album cuts and things like that, but never had a number one together that they wrote that I recorded. And so, uh, you know, this one, this was our first one. And, you know, even though we've been playing music together for 20 plus years, this was the first time they had written a number one for me. So it was just uh, pretty special. This one was pretty special for sure. And, and we just got the... Uh, just got the word on it yesterday morning, so it was it was a good day to celebrate. What a fun day to get to play that with them then yesterday. Yeah, absolutely. It was cool. And, you know, it's, uh, you know, those guys, like I said, they've, they've written a ton of stuff over the years just for whatever reason. It just, we had never had a number one together. And so it was cool. We got to play a show, got to play the song. I kind of got to uh, kind of give them their moment on stage last night, you know, with it. So it was, it was really neat. On the thread there with Tully and Kurt, they are co-writers on this new duet, If I Didn't Love You. So that's, I mean, two two singles in a row. Like, they're, they're feeling pretty amazing. <laughs> uh, we kind of thrown around the idea of, of doing a duet, and but we really didn't have the song. And, and we were kind of trying to force it with other songs and, you know, kind of saying to ourselves, well, this could kind of be a duet, but it really, you know, really wasn't written that way. And so they just kind of went in one day to try and write, and, and this is what they came up with. And, and we had already you know, gone in and tracked most of the album. Uh, this thing kind of came at the last minute we tracked it. And, and I mean, it was from the time we tracked it till it was done, all vocals, everything was about two weeks. So it happened pretty quick. Oh, wow. We didn't even have a duet partner on this song. Actually, when we, when we recorded it, I knew, you know, that it was going to be a duet for somebody. I was like, somebody will bite on this thing just because I thought the song was so great, but we didn't have a partner. And, um, I was just kind of like, man, we'll, we'll figure that out later. Let's just go ahead and cut it. And, uh, you know, I had a couple people in mind and, and, uh, to reach out to. And, and the first one was, was Carrie. And, and so when she bid on it, it was like, oh, this is, this is, you know, just have a lot of times when you do those things, I mean, there, there's more involved than just saying, Hey, I would like this person to sing on the song. I mean, you have to get, uh, you know, singles rights from their rec- you know, their record label, you have to make sure you're not kind of getting in the way of, of songs or album drops or something they're doing too. So we called Carrie and it, she just kind of had this, this spot in her schedule where it fit perfectly where, you know, she was kind of more focused on, on a Christmas record that she had done and uh, kind of promoting that and, and a, I think maybe a gospel record or something. So um, it just, the timing was perfect for her to get on the song and, and uh, it just worked out. I mean, you've had a pretty, like amazing history of duet partners that are badass vocalists. Like that's, there's an upside and a downside to that. It's like, you're like throwing yourself yeah, you're against me. Carrie Underwood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, um, you know, I remember with don't you want to say, you know, I thought Kelly was, Kelly was actually my first choice for that song. And I just always been a fan of her, her voice. And then, you know, when you get on stage or in the studio and start trading vocals with them, it's like, Man, you realize really quick, you know, that uh, who the better singer in the room is. You know what I mean? Those guys are amazing singers and really powerful and, and just a lot of range, you know. And it's just uh, – it's really cool for me to get to work with people like that and, and sort of find my little – my spot in the song to make my voice work with theirs. And, um, you know, and, and it's it's been great. I mean, obviously, Kelly, the song we did with her – uh, got us a Grammy nomination and, and just was a really big song for us, single of the year and um, at, at CMAs. And and so uh, hopefully we can replicate that with uh, with this song. Yeah, that's exciting. Um, okay, I'm going to let you go here, but I, I just have to, I hate to be the person that's like commenting on Instagram pictures, but this was a really freaking cute photo that you posted of Memphis with like, you know, the little the headphones on to save his ears. And you say like he might have the music bug. Maybe. Yeah, he was, uh, you know, I ha- actually had him out with me this weekend, too, and, and um, you know, got him up on stage for a second and Wait. Uh, trying to trying to break break him in slow, you know, but he um, 
you know, he, he loves being around it. I mean, he likes being on stage and, and watching, you know, my show, watching other people's shows. We, I took him out that the day you're talking about and, uh, Hardy was playing in front of us. So I took him out and watched him and, um, you know, I think last night he got to see Tracy Lawrence for a little bit and, and, um, you know, he's watched our show. So he just seems to love to be around it, you know? And, and so obviously he's a little too young to tell he's three right now, but, uh, for me, you know, I just, I just think it's cool to have him out and, yeah. and, you know, have him be around it versus seeing it in pictures and videos when he gets older, I want him to be a part of it. That's cool. I, I mean, I am envious. I mean, how amazing would that have been to be able to grow up around music and, and see all of the, like, yeah. just, it's still so cool. Even, I mean, we've all been to a million shows and backstage, but it's still, I think the, the moment when we, when that isn't cool to us is like the moment we gotta, we gotta give it up. Like, it's amazing that he gets to be around all of that. Yeah. You know, and it, and the thing for me too, is like my older kids, you know, I have an 18 year old and a 13 year old and, you know, and it was a little different when they were little because it was like the beginning of my career. And, and so, like, I mean, even just having the money to take out two buses so that I could bring them around, like, I just I didn't have that luxury in those days. And so, uh, you know, it's cool to be in a spot now where, you know, we kind of have our own family bus and, and they come out whenever they want to come out. And um, it's just a yeah, it's, it's a cool spot to be in and, and just really fortunate that I get to, you know, have them around and, and sort of have them be a part of it all. That's so sweet. Well, thank you for the time. It's great to see your face and congrats on the new music. I'm so excited for you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Good yep. to see you.